What were you just saying to me, baby? So my partner and I were in the middle of a conversation and I thought I would just shoot this. We were just talking about how for the majority of my life, I felt really misunderstood because I had a lot of people in my life who gaslit me and who didn't acknowledge my feelings or who would always overstep my boundaries, even when I would repeat them. And I never really minded that because I thought to myself, if I'm gonna be an exemplary force in people's lives, if I'm gonna be someone who's really loving, I need to accept people regardless of how they show up. And so I always, for 20 plus years, I just kept forgiving people and just kept seeing the best in them. Um, but now that I've removed myself from a lot of those toxic relationships, I'm able to decipher what feels like love and what doesn't because I've stepped away from it. And in the past, it was really difficult to differentiate between like, should I do this or should I do that? What would make me a better person, right? So this person has hurt me, they've violated me, but I still wanna be a good person. What would be the right thing to do? And what we, had, we you and I were talking about was, if you think about that question itself, what is the right thing to do? It's still rooted in how other people perceive you which means that those other people are still judging you, which means that you're still judging you. You think that there's something wrong with how you want to be treated. You think that there's something wrong with how you wish to be loved. And for me, I've gotten so in tune with my body now and I've, I'm so in tune with love that it's become really easy to decipher um, what is good for me and healthy for me versus what isn't healthy for me. So. Um, I think that's freedom, right? Is when you can get to a place where you say, you know what, I might have given people the benefit of the doubt many, many, many years, but maybe my initial instinct was right. And maybe what I need in a relationship is valid and what I need in a relationship should be, should be acknowledged. And if someone can't meet me halfway, then do they deserve to be in your life? Ask yourself, do they deserve to be in your life? Because with people like that, you're never gonna win. It's never gonna be enough. You can keep showing up and giving and, and, and wearing your heart on your sleeve and giving everything that you've got, but it doesn't mean that the relationship is gonna work out. There will come a point where you say, but I'm a deep person, I'm an emotional person, I need support in my life, it has to be reciprocated. And if it's not reciprocated, what is the point? No one is growing, no one is learning, everyone's just comfortable and they're suppressing their truth. So stop suppressing your truth for people. It's really, really liberating when you finally prioritize what you need and how you want to be treated. Um, and it gets really easy. You know, love feels light. Love feels good. It feels right. And when it's not love, it feels heavy. It feels difficult. It feels problematic. Mm -hmm. And you just get to a place where you say, I'm done trying so hard because I know that love is kind, love is easy, love is supportive, and I deserve that now. So if you ever have a thought of someone or you have a thought of having a conversation with someone and it doesn't feel peaceful, it means it's, they're not ready for you. They're not, it's that simple. They're not ready for you. You'll know they're ready for you when you think of them and it just feels completely clear, all right? So keep following love because that's what's gonna lighten you. That's what's gonna allow you to achieve your dreams all right, if you're always wrapped up in doubt and self-doubt, like you're doubting that you should be having that conversation, that you shouldn't have that conversation, you're still basing um, your view of yourself on how other people view you. And that is not love. That's actually powerlessness. So empower yourself this year and start doing what matters to you.